In my opinion, according to my life, this is how I see things and the way they are. The world is set up to keep you squished, to keep you pushed at the bottom to make sure you can never rise up. And the reason why they do that is because you're so desperate to just stay afloat that you don't see the island just around the corner. You know what I'm saying? And that's what America is right now, is they keep people really stupid so they can't see the hope on the other side. And they keep you desperate so you're constantly just trying to stay alive and you don't just, you know what I'm saying? It's like you're in a hole and you have a ladder and they keep offering you to cut off uh, a step of the ladder to go in the light or fire. And eventually, after enough steps, you're never gonna get out of that hole. And that's basically what they're doing, but they don't tell you that it's a ladder to get out of the hole. They don't tell you that you're in a hole. That part is kept secret, essentially. And that's kind of what the deal is right now. That's what America is. It's where ignorance is not bliss. Ignorance is hell. And I've been saying this before. It's just people don't see it. But this is a direct example. So now you can relate to it, essentially. So people in the world are suffering everywhere. And they can only focus on what's in front of them. I want to get into politics. I want to help the world. But I can't because I can't even help myself. You know, even Jordan Peterson is talking about this. But my point is that the system is meant to, to do that. It's intended to do that. That's why they keep taking the ground under your feet. This is why they took away my SSI, for example. This is why they take away your food stamps because they don't want you to step up and rise, essentially. And yes, there are people that are exploiting it and screwing over, screwing over and just taking the money and doing drugs and shit and doing nothing. But a lot of people weren't. A lot of people actually needed that shit. You know, like myself, for example, I'm disabled. I can't work. Yet I'm trying to work. I'm killing myself right now trying to do this. I don't know how long I'm going to keep this up. You know, if I had this check, I'd be something else right now. I'd be amazing right now because there are people that actually needed it. You know, but they fucking use that as an excuse to screw everybody else over. And everyone's siding with them. Because, oh, because some, some people exploited it. That means everyone should suffer. No, you stupid bitch. Like Candace, whatever the hell her name is. Like, no, you dumbass. Like, you got to understand that there's two sides to every pie. You know? There's two, there's two slices, two halves to every pie. Just because there's a corrupt side on the left that's 30% doesn't mean that the 70% of the pie needs to burn too. I mean, just cut that piece out, you stupid ass. You know, <clears throat> that's what it's all about. And that's what I'm all about. I figure this shit out. I'm very, you know, I can, I'm very surgical with my thoughts, essentially. I'm very fucking good at it. I just, I suck at memorizing shit. But I'm really good at dissecting shit, pulling it apart and really looking at it, really getting in there and tearing it up. You know, I can really do it. And I, like, I, I don't know, man. That's just something I do. And this is something, and it's hard for me to do that when every day I got some other bullshit to deal with. And that's kind of the point. That's the problem. People need a chance to be able to get into life, to step up into life. This is why five-day weeks don't work. This is why we need four-day weeks, work weeks. If we had enough money to work off of just four days and we just made a four-day week, society would thrive way more but they're using this five-day excuse to fuck everybody else over it increased production when we needed it but we don't need it anymore you know what i mean we just need to survive we need to prosper for a while we're not in this wartime era we don't need this overly production this is why there's so much plastic in the ocean because we're not going anywhere this is why um <clears throat> what's his name um elon musk is such a, a big deal and this is why they try to repress him because he's such a big deal. He's a way for us to get away from the old ways that we were. We can move into something new. We have a moment to do this. And we should utilize this. But we're not. And again, the reason why we're not is because no one can focus on the fact that Elon is the future. Like, electronic is the future. We can't do that because we're worried about getting to work. And how am I supposed to get to work? I need fossil fuel cars, you know, to get to work. Just to be able to work my dead-end job. And I can't get anything else. I can't explore anything else. I can't go anywhere and expand my horizon. I can't do anything. I got to be a sheep in this fucking... I'm a slave, essentially. You're a slave. You're stuck in the system and you can't get out. And again, America is not about that. That's not what America is about. America is about prosper. Everyone prospers. We grow as a nation. That's why New York was fucking huge. That's why San Francisco got huge, because it just allows prosper. That's where they're still growing. Because over there, people are fighting back, and they're working together, and they're actually achieving. Whereas everybody else, they're just being fucking screwed over. You know, and you see this nowhere else. Um, you see it everywhere, don't get me wrong. But you see a lot of it in the black community, basically. <clears throat> like, they're just repressing. They're dealing with gangs and shit, and the guys trying to hit on their daughters. And you see, again, it's spread everywhere now. But the point is, there's so much for you to fucking worry about that's on your plate that you can't worry about something else. And that's the fucking problem. And I'm not saying that the government's all responsible for it. I'm just saying they're not fucking helping. That's what the government's there for, is to help control the people, but not keep them slaves. And that's the difference. Like, we have so many extremes going on right now 
that it's fucking us over in general. We need to find a balance. We need to find a middle ground. That's what I'm all about. I'm balanced. I'm neutral. I'm in the middle. I'm fucking neutral. Bitches get pissed off because they cannot get me excited. Because I know what I need. I know what I want. And I know what I'm after. And I don't tell nobody because I'm not fucking stupid. Because I'm not just after that all day. If I was, then sure. But then, anyways, the point is, I'm in the middle. I'm there. I'm all about that shit. You know what I'm saying? So I see this shit. So I know what the fuck I'm talking about. So, <clears throat> anyways, we need four-day work weeks. We need to have... Um, what's it called uh like uh, universal income essentially just to get people started and if if they show that they don't want to get anywhere with it and like say two years time cut them off all right you don't want to go anywhere fuck you then you know and that's what it should be and so now people like me thinkers people who have insight and intuition or whatever we can actually prosper we can actually step up we can rise but we can't do that right now so that's the problem and that's what i'm trying to talk about that's what i'm trying to say right now and again there's a lot of factors that go into this. You got to worry about your relationship. You got to worry about, you know, uh, your kids. You got to worry about your job. You got to worry about getting to work. You got to worry about this. You got to worry about that. Worry about this. Worry about that. Worry about that. And you're barely making anything. This is why Eminem's song back in the day, "My Nine to Five isn't enough." Essentially, you know what I'm saying? Like it, people are reaching out. It's just that again, we have extremes leading the way. We don't need that. That's what happened to rap nowadays. Because it's, it's all extremes. It's all about bitches and drugs. That's an extreme. It's not about bitches and drugs. That's part of it. It's not all about that. You're just an idiot. You're just a dumb fucking monkey, and you made it all about that because you're a dumb monkey. You're not a fucking intelligent person that knows. It's a little about life too. It's about being happy. It's about going somewhere. It's about a future. You're not including that. You know what I'm saying? And again, it's extreme. And then there's another extreme with white people and like Chinese people, for example. Work, 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 work. Only work. Only school. Only school. Only music. Only this. Only that. And they're just so fucking extreme. And that's what's going on in America right now. It's either fucking work your ass off or don't do anything. That's the problem. And again, you see with extreme right and extreme left too. It's just we have extremes. And I've said this before. The problem in America is that we have extremes running the show. And the, the reason why this is happening is because people like me, the neutral people, have been quiet for so fucking long. You know what I'm saying? We've been so quiet for so long, and it's not because of um, what's called any other reason beyond the fact that we we're just fine with it for the most part. It's just now it's getting so bad that I have no fucking choice but to say something because now the right's going too far, now the left's going too far. For a good while, it was pretty neutral. It was in the middle, and I'm pretty young, so I can't really speak for everything. You know what I'm saying? But I, I seen the left doing this thing. I was like, yeah, it's, that's okay. It's, it, you know, there's still some good, good to that. And now I see the right doing something completely opposite. But I'm like, yeah, I can see what they're saying too. You know, so maybe it kind of works out. You know, you know, give it a chance. But now it's just like, no one gets any money. And over here, it's like, everybody gets everything. And now we have to take away your right to say things. And I'm like, whoa, 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 what the fuck? No, because that's impeding on neutral now. You know what I'm saying? In the middle, now I can't do anything? No, no you're, taking, you're reaching way too far, dude. You're crossing that line. And that's the fucking problem. That's what the extremes are. You know, you get your side, we get mine. Or you get your side, I get mine. We get ours, or whatever. And again, I'm in the middle. So I'm like in the middle section. I'll say uh, 25% on each side. Personally, myself, uh, because I'm actually an insightful and intelligent and quizzical, pers quizzical person, I'm like 30 to 35% on both sides, right? So I'm in the middle, though. But the point is, I can see it overbearing from 50% to 55% and that's why we have this blue wave going on right now and again it's being exploited through um, uh, extremism so we we had this pull on the left and no Mexicans and no immigrants none of this shit and it's really bad and what they're doing is really bad and again people see the light and they're like yeah you know it's kind of bad because there's too many Mexicans but then they find out they're putting kids in cages and like whoa whoa we didn't agree to that you know and again that's the extreme part and then you go on to the right side and the left side and it's like, yeah, I mean, people are kind of being mean or whatever, you know, and kids do need a little a chance to, you know, prosper and grow. Wait, we can't say words now? You know what I'm saying? That's the fucking problem. So if we can just get to the middle, hire me. Let me do it. I'm the shit. Give me some fucking good top level people that are like, you're, you, um, you're good at writing. You're good at reading. You're good at producing. You're good at this. You're good at, give me an army of those and I'll fucking lead this nation. I'm not even fucking kidding. I'm great at it. This is what I fucking do. You know what I'm saying? This is my, that's my calling card. And anyways, doubt me. Say whatever the fuck you want. I don't care. I can explain everything. Question. Question me. <laughs> anyways, and yes, I'm very level-headed too. It's just that I feel very strongly about this because this is America I'm talking about. And if I can't fucking raise my voice in defense of America, fuck you.